What's going on guys? We are back with another video and this is my gorgeous little girl, Amelia. She doesn't want to say anything. She's a little shy, but I wanted to make a video with her in it just because I love her and she loves watching my YouTube videos. So, but anyways, um, in this video, I did a kid's mid bald fade and I think it turned out really good. Now, I did say in the video that I'm not going to speed up the whole video because I went back and watched some of my videos and I felt like I was cheating you guys. So I wanted to make sure that you guys were getting the most out of every video that you can get. So I hope you guys enjoy it and uh, stay tuned and let's roll the intro. All right, let's jump into this cut. It is a mid bald well, skin fade um, with a comb over and a hard part. And always you wanna set your first guideline in. And uh, with this particular client, I will arch it a little bit and that's just because of his head shape. I feel it would be a great fit. And that's the great thing about being a barber is it's not just about putting a good haircut on your client. Um, you also have to look at your client's head shape um, you know look at his face structure and and make sure you are giving your client the best cut that fits him. so with that being said I do arch this particular client and when you do put in your bald line you want to start on one side and work your way to the center of the back and then jump to the next side and match each side up and the reason being is if you just started on one side and went all the way around you would have a crooked line so um and and that's really just um the best way to do it and the best way to stay organized so um, also in this video I'm not gonna speed the whole thing up like I normally do I went back and watched a couple of my videos and I kind of felt like I was cheating you guys by speeding them up um, I felt like you just if you're a newer barber you can't get much out of that it's just so quick everything's happening so fast so I want to make sure you guys are getting the most out of these videos So after you uh, put your initial guideline in with your trimmers, um, and I know sometimes I talk about not using trimmers to bald out because it's really not good for them. They're not made for that. But for this particular um, instance, it was just faster for me to do it. But if they want to skin fade, you can grab your shavers. And the trick with the shavers is go down with them first before you go up if you just dig in and start going up and just um, really skinning them out real fast you can put a line in that is not fun to get out guys um if you've done it then you know what i'm talking about but if you've never done it this is a piece of advice that will save you so much time make sure you go down first and then go up and do not be heavy handed with your shavers. It will save you a lot of time and a lot of headache. All 
right, after you've uh, got them skinned out, you want to take your clippers. Here I'm using my wall magic clips. Um, and you want to have no guard, the lever all the way down. So you want to make sure that the cutting teeth, the smaller teeth of your blade, are the furthest away from the larger teeth. And you want to set a guideline in about a half an inch above your bald line. Um, and the reason I cut like this is it helps me to stay organized and it also helps me to give a cleaner fit. After you're done doing that, then you want to take your one guard with the lever all the way down, again teeth furthest away from the larger teeth, the smaller teeth, and go up about another half an inch to an inch, depending on how much room you have. That's something you're going to have to gauge. And then you see I close my lever with my one guard. Now what I'm doing is I'm just softening the line in between the lever open with no guard and the uh, guideline I just put in. It's not going to take it all the way out. It's just going to soften it. Now after that, you want to grab your one guard, lever open. If you haven't realized it or caught on yet, you always want to start out with your lever open. And then go ahead and set another guideline in. And then once we get to this point, you can close your lever again and kill that line. Um, sometimes just the way the hair texture is grown, it might not knock all the way out. You can jump back to your one guard open and soften that up. I have my two guard on now. It will be the last guard I use, and I'm just gonna go ahead and clean up the rest of it. All right, so now that I have all the bolt cleaned out of the way, this is where I start working down. Now I'm gonna get rid of all those guidelines and work down. I put my one and a half guard back on, lever open, and I'm cleaning up in between that two guard line and just cleaning, you know, really just cleaning it up. Now you wanna put your one guard open and you wanna take out the line that you had set in with your one and a half guard. So basically now you're just going back and taking lines out. All right, so I'm about to use my half guard. Um, and this is gonna take out that line in between the one and the, the lever open. This is where it really brings the fade totally together. Um, and it's an awesome tool to use. So you just wanna have your lever halfway open and use your corners and really flick um, and you can even play with the lever if you want. I mean, you could even see the line is, I mean, it just looks real clean. And once I take out that bottom line, it'll be real, real clean. All right, so now this is probably the toughest part of the cut is knocking that bottom line out. And if you've watched any of my videos, most of the time I do that right away. As soon as I set in that first guideline, um, I'm knocking that first guideline out because it's the toughest one um, and you really want to get it right. It's really going to show the difference between a really clean cut and just your average haircut. So um, use your corners, play with the lever. Um, if you want, you start out with the lever halfway and go halfway up the guideline and then close it, you know, and just barely hit the bottom line. Basically, the only way to teach getting this line out is repetition. So everybody has their own ways of doing it and I encourage you to jump in and, and start trying different ways, you know, watch people and really just practice, practice, practice. Also, use your corners. That is a big, big thing. All 
uh, it's basically done. I'm just gonna go back and clean up some dark spots I see and I'll be flipping from guard to guard. Now I encourage this a lot. Um, after you're done cutting, so it should take you about, on a bald fit, it should take you about 30 minutes to do it. You should allow 40 minutes in the whole cut though and I'll tell you what the last 10 minutes is for. It is for detail. It is for going back and going the extra yard and making your client feel like you really care about how they walk out of that shop. Um, double check in the mirror. Your mirror is your best friend. It gives you a different um, angle. And uh, you know, just make sure you go back and touch things up. If you have to, do it as you're going through the haircut. Do it on each guideline. However you feel comfortable doing it, do it, as long as you're detailed. All right, so we're gonna start on the back now, and it's the same exact step, so try to follow along, guys. Like I said, I'm not gonna speed it up. I will slow it down for a second, just so you guys can see what I'm doing. Um, and normally, when I do a haircut in sections like this, I would do the other side first, and then bring the back together, but I just did it different. I can't really tell you why I didn't do it that way just sometimes I did it different and to be honest with you if you saw me cut in the shop without doing a video you would probably be super confused because I really am all over the place um, I do set in guidelines but I'll skip guards and it's just a mess um, but for the video sake because I want to try to teach something um, you know I kind of made sure I stayed um, step for step and you know make sure I can help you guys out so follow along guys and uh, you know try I always encourage even speak to yourself who cares who's around just you know say what guard I'm on out loud um, if you really pay attention to the steps before you should be able to know which ones I'm doing even call out if it's a lever open or lever closed Alright, so now that we're done with the back, you want to go to the next side, and this side's going to be a little different because on the other side, you know, you have the hard part, and he likes the two to go all the way up to the part. He doesn't like a weight line, so this side, you're going to have to blend into the longer hair, so that makes it a little trickier. So, um, it's the same steps all the way up until you get to the two guard. And once you get to the two guard, um, we'll talk about that um, here in a minute and go into a little more detail with it. But you gotta make sure you be careful not to dig in. That's the biggest thing. So I'm gonna speed this part up because it's the same exact thing we watched on the other side. Um, and then once we get to the, to the two guard, um, we'll go more detail with that. <laughs> Alright, so now that we're at the, our highest guard we're going to use, 
you want to go straight up and that's what I said earlier you don't want to dig in you want to go straight off the Prado Ridge and the Prado Ridge is uh, just basically the crown of the head it's not I mean if you've been to barber school you know all the terms it's it's terms you should already know it's your basic barber terms. so go straight off the Prado Ridge and make sure you don't dig in there will be a little bolt left um, and we'll go back with shears and clean all that up and again I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna start going down and knocking lines out and really detail and take your time again to detail it'll set you apart from every barber clients will notice it and they'll really appreciate it and they will come back and sit in your chair <laughs> Alright, after we're done detailing, basically the fade is done. Um, I think it looks pretty blurry. Uh, he's got great hair texture for the skin fade. Um, now we want to work on the long hair, and it's just your basic scissor cut. You want to saturate the hair, make sure you get it good and wet. The reason you want it really saturated is because hair, when it gets wet, it actually gets longer so you want to make sure everything is longer and make sure that you don't have any dry pieces of the hair under there and like I said it's a basic scissor cut um, with comb overs I do like to start at the hard part that's gonna be the longest hair so I like to set my guy line get it all even and then I will angle everything in to fade in the side on the other side where the part is not. All right, we got to the Prado Ridge. This is gonna help get rid of that bulk. You see how my fingers are straight up and down. You wanna take your fingers and you wanna cut straight up and down and that's getting rid of most of that bulk. Um, you will go back and I like to do shear over comb you can do clipper over comb um, you could even take a higher guard like a 4 or a 3 and go straight up to clean it all up I really enjoy shear over comb and I force myself to do it just so I can get better at it um, you know, and, and I encourage anyone if there is a weak point um, in your skills I suggest that you force yourself to do it every haircut and I promise you will get better at it so um, we're gonna start shear over comb you want to brush down and then come up now you want to make sure that the bottom blade is staying still it's tough to do I'm still learning and I'm trying to get better at it but that is going to make it so much cleaner and you want to make sure you're cutting all the way through the hair and what I mean by that is start cutting start closing your shears and don't stop until you have raised that comb all the way out of the hair and that'll just give you a nice easy even cut put in the hard part um, now you just want to tap your clipper you don't want to 
make the line too big. A hard part is just an exaggerated part. That doesn't mean it's a really big gap. You want to make it look natural but clean. So you just want to, I like to just tap my clipper upside down, hold it upside down, tap it, and then I'll go the other way. Um, just so I can get a nice straight line on each side of the part. So now we're gonna start the style, and yes, I use Suavecito. Shout out to Suavecito. I love their product. It smells great, it holds great, and it washes out easy. Um, that's a big thing for me. I'm not a big fan on oil products. I like the water, soluble products. Um, and this is just a great product. I also really like Layrite. Um, we sell both in the shop, and I use both. Um, just right now, I'm kind of on a Suavecito kit. Uh, I have one of those giant jugs and I love it. I use it on my clients, I use it on myself. I suggest it to anybody. It is a phenomenal product. So if you haven't used it, I suggest you give it a try. Um, it holds hair great and uh, it gives you a great smell and a great style. Hey guys, as we start to style, um, you really don't need a blow dryer for because he doesn't like a lot of volume. Um, I just like a blow dryer because it kind of softens up the suavecito. Um, he likes kind of a wet look um, with it kind of laying down, not a whole lot of volume. So in this case, I'll comb everything to the side and then I'll take the front and I'll flip it right up. Now you want to, uh, you know, edge your client up and obviously he's a white boy so it's not going to be real, real crispy but he does like a box look and uh, so this was, we're just going to give him that. Um, he does kind of have a lot of peach fuzz so we'll clean him up and make him look real good um, and that's what you want. You want to give your client what they want um, and I think it looks great on this particular client. And then like always, you always wanna finish your client off with a straight razor. And that's why we really became a barber was so we can use um, a straight razor and, and have the license to do it. And I'm telling you, the razor just sets the lineup off. It, it cleans up the hard part and it just finishes the whole cut. So I suggest that you use the razor on every client. They're going to love it. I hear so many times people come in and say how they wish more barbers used the razor and how um, they specifically come to our shop because we do do a razor. That's the cut you know I hope you guys liked it um, if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more subscribe like and um, you know I'll definitely be putting out more content and trying to help younger barbers um, get better at this wonderful craft so I appreciate it guys and uh, stay tuned for the next video